Hi, this is Kim Pinkney and welcome to my channel. Well, this is just a time-lapse replay of uh, the video right before. Uh, for anybody who may have missed it or just cannot sit through like an hour or two of um, a long video. So, uh, but never fear, I usually take my long streams and uh, convert my time-lapse replays into uh, short bits that have a little bit of music to it and all the little cutesy stuff that goes along with it. Um, right here I'm using uh, Zhao Gui, I think that's his name. Uh, one day I shall learn how to pronounce that, of 9%. I've never heard their music, but I am going to be looking for them. Uh, and I'm going to be drawing him in, and this is one of the weirdest things that I like doing is uh, taking, I hate just using just one genre, uh, because you know, things have been seen before. And I want to just like, kind of mesh more things together. Uh, than just one. So I've got K-pop and J-pop and uh, all kinds of pops going on uh, along with, uh, this is steampunk as well as um, Taurus. So I'm going to combine all these things together to make a unique image or unique for me. Um, I only got mm, part of the way on his face and then um, I ended up while I was riding the bus adding a little bit more to it so that's why I'm doing the live stream to catch you guys up on uh, where I am thus far and it's almost there now I was having a little bit of problems with his his lips because he was he's kind of smirking in his picture Just a little. And it looks like I have to update my uh, info here. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like my info is a little off on my uh, my little stream here, but that's okay. I'll fix that later. Okay, ready for action. Okay, so um, I noticed that on my horns, I'm using. A, I think I want to use more of a a gold color. So I'm going to change this silver into gold. Little uh, metal energy. I'm going to turn this down a little bit so you can hear me a little bit. Now I just started uh, learning how to do. Um, let's see, uh, digital drawing uh, to the point where I'm actually liking what I'm doing. Um, a lot of the time, um, let me see. I don't want to lock that. I want to alpha lock now I'm alpha locking so that I can kind of stay clean um, keep my lines a little clean and let me try out the color see what I got here because I've been playing with this hair and I'll probably come back to it um, in a little bit because I can I could stay all day on this it's like ooh, I could add a little bit here I could add a little bit there and it just gets like crazy and I truly appreciate all those who have watched um, my videos and uh, it, it's no easy feat I mean it's like these things are long these live streams are long and I need to learn how to be faster so um, I did a marathon drawing of or just as quickly as I could before I passed out for the night I'm getting old falling asleep at like nine o'clock <laughs> getting drowsy at 8 30 I used to laugh at people like that until <laughs> I got a job. <laughs> so, yeah. So staying up past 10 and then getting up at 4 um, so that I get to do what I love doing, which is drawing. Um, yeah, I come across a lot of folks who um, say they don't have time for art. 
and I can totally understand that, but it's like you just got to find the time because it's not the time is not going to come to you. It's not going to give itself to you. So if you really want to do it, uh, just find find that free moment that you can. Uh, me, it's come in the form of uh, riding the bus and for me to get to work. And I guess like my car breaking down and being a piece of crap uh, was a blessing in disguise because I was uh, had a sed sedentary life lifestyle. I had a sit down job um, like for 11 years before, uh, just and then drinking coffee every day, and I just was not exercising. So I am huge. And um, it, it just gave me an opportunity to uh, get some oxygen into my into my lungs, whether I want to or not, because I got to get my butt to work. <laughs> so, um, but on my way, um, while I'm being jostled about on the bus, and uh, with the weather being the way it is out here, um, smelling all of Tampa on the bus for good or for ill <laughs> I get to uh, I get to draw uh, there's sometimes when um, I'm drawing and I'm craning my neck too much and that makes me uh, want to like pass out and fall asleep so I got to be careful with that I don't want to miss my stop um, let's see where were we live dashboard hey tatted hearts I am sorry about uh, the uh, last live stream, I did not do any talking. I was just doing a marathon, pushing through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now that I've got this exercise routine going on, I do feel a lot better. I can breathe a lot better. Um, but I'm freaking tired. I go to bed and I pass the hell out. I sleep hard. I snore <laughs> like a, like a. A snoring bear, a growling bear. It, my daughter had uh, come to visit me and she's like, Mom. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, so. Um, and probably dangerous too, but I'm not, I'm not worried about that too much right now. All I know is I get, I'm getting some of the best sleep of my life. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Yeah, uh, I want. I thought didn't know what the deadline was on the Ergo Josh uh, draw in my style thing, and um, so I thought I had to like whip that stuff out like really quick. And eventually, I went back and it said that it was like two weeks. And I'm like, oh, oh, I'm like, I. <laughs> so. Uh, but it did it did show me that I could complete something if I stay focused enough um, It wasn't the best something because I was like freaking tired. I started it at 8 o'clock 830 or something like that and finished it about 10 and I was making like my rookie mistakes Not being on the right layer, which is like typical for me um, What I'm doing now is I'm, I'm trying to make this like gold horn um, but I'm not quite sure, like I, I know that gold has, let's see, I need to use like maybe black, um, to try to get this to stand out. There's a lot of, uh, texture in this particular horn that I'm looking at, so maybe I'm going to use a different brush. Let me move my stream over so I can see your kind and gentle words. I liked your idea, uh, Tatted Hearts, about the um, doing, uh, when I finally got done, I was able to look and go, oh my gosh, people actually showed up. Um, old Odd Toby popped in. I hadn't talked to Odd in forever. Um, and I, it, it, being an artist, um, I, I happened to come across a YouTube uh, video where this guy says that uh, being an artist is lonely because you're pretty much doing this by yourself. You know, you're... Uh, drawing and whatnot and uh, I remember when I was a teenager I used to draw with a friend of mine like all summer long like when I we just sat there and just drew she would bring snacks and we draw for hours and hours 
and um, I think I'm, I'm where I am today because we just like drew random crap from magazines and things that you know and her stuff was awesome uh, she had a, a very uh, unique style uh, kind of like um, it was very clean too her lines were very bold and crisp and she never stuck with it which is like super super tragic um, shout out to Crystal um, but yeah, uh, we would just draw for hours and we didn't do much talking, but we did do a lot of drawing. I had enough drawing to like fill my bedroom wall where they all are. I have no idea, but it was almost as if we were drawing our own magazine. You know, like back in the eighties and the nineties, they had, um, a whole lot of advertisements and magazines. Let me see. Okay, I'm done playing with that one right now. I'll figure out how to do a pattern or something like that on there. Um, let's see. I'm not even sure I've got the right tones that I want. But we'll keep going. Um, yeah, so... Um, and, and, and I'm like, ah, it is kind of lonely. You know, because it, it feels good to bounce your ideas off of someone... And Tatted Hearts, you've been fabulous with some ideas and stuff like that that have come out to some really, really hot art. So, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. And uh, it's open to everybody. If you guys want to, like, throw a suggestion in the ring, I am, like, all ears. Especially if um, it's something, like, I hadn't thought of. Or, you know, it's really in line or in tune with uh, things that I, I think are, like, wicked cool, like Harajuku. Um, I've always wanted to do, like, a whole thing on, like, Harajuku girls. Because I love their crazy style. And um, maybe even come up with some other um, Harajuku type of things. But as I was doing research on that, they were like, well, the trend is fading. And I'm like, Really? <laughs> I missed it <laughs> by that much. <laughs> this is so cute. It, it reminds me of uh, the TV show Mork from Ork. He had uh, he used to wear these suspenders. Um, oh God, what's his name? Robin Williams uh, in the 80s uh, wore uh, these cute suspenders. They were uh, rainbow suspenders. Had to have them. Oh my gosh. I think I had to have everything that people wore on TV or had on TV. Like, uh, this will really tell my age, but I used to watch this one TV show called Family Affair. Um, whereas, like, these little, this little girl named Buffy, I think that's what her name was. And uh, she had a Ms. Beasley doll. Ugly freaking doll. Old lady doll. And she just would include her in all her conversations and she always felt like she had somebody to talk to and play with even though she was a twin <laughs> and uh, she could always talk to her twin brother but you know Buffy and Jody I think that's what their names were and uh, they were uh, their nanny was uh, Mr. French and they had an older sister I think they called her Sissy I'm like okay and then um, their dad uh, or no, I think it was their uncle. I think it was their uncle that, that was looking after him. He's like this rich guy. Always rich in a penthouse. But I think he spanked them too. I thought that was awesome because we got spanked. And I think that's why I watched Different Strokes because my dad would spank us just like uh, Mr. Drummond would his sons. Which you talked about, Willis. Anyway. <laughs> I digress. I was getting on with... Uh, artists are lonely and yeah it can be a little lonely um, but uh, I don't feel bored and I really honestly don't feel lonely when I'm uh, drawing but now that I've I've got to meet you guys through my drawings uh, when you're not here I do feel a little lonely now I didn't know loneliness until I met you people <laughs> <laughs> You want to get a bunch of Ariana pictures? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I was like that with Tom Cruise. <laughs> and then uh, Jim Morrison. 
until I found out what kind of douchebag he was, but I, all I knew was that this guy was freaking hot. And I, found, I, I was uh, at a mall, and the, most, the malls that I was at, uh, they had um, art studios or places where they would just sell artwork and just weird crap. And I saw this Jim Morrison poster, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I spent my paycheck and bought that and a, uh, what is it called? Viking helmet. <laughs> no, no, no. I was saving up for the Viking helmet and ended up buying a Davy Crockett hat and got so much crap from kids at school. I was like, this is real. This is real. I'm like, it's fake. It's Davy Crockett hat. It's cute. You know, and they're like, yeah, it's gross. I'm like, whatever. It was gross because I wore it all the time. I don't know. I, I just felt adventurous when I wore that hat. I don't know. People didn't understand me. <laughs> that and I had bad hair. <laughs> Probably contributing from the hats. <laughs> I don't know. So misunderstood. Um, naughty teenager that I was. But, um, I think I want to try to get I guess that kind of looks metallic. I don't know. I need to do something to make it look more metallic. I'll find a metal um, texture. Okay. Uh, Kim wears rainbow cape with thigh-high rainbow boots. Nah. Oh, no. No, I'm not drawing Billie Eilish. They probably have a ton of people drawing that chick. She's too emo for me. I'm a bad guy, duh. But then again, I, I, I wouldn't mind drawing her as a bad guy. <laughs> I'm a bad guy, duh. I want to draw more black people. Uh, there's not enough representation, I don't, I think. And I'm going to come out and say it. I want to draw more black people. Um, as a teenager, as a kid, um, I've drawn white people all my life. Seriously, I have seriously drawn white people all my life. My entire... I want to say a good portion of my world was white. Um, I was raised in San Diego um, and I even had problems with my uh, self-esteem because there was not a lot of black representation. Um, my mom kept us out of some neighborhoods. My dad, uh, you know, went wherever he felt like going um, and he dated mostly uh, black women. And each one of them was kind of nuts in their own way. Um, and even my mom at one time, uh, she just really, when, and he was, she was his first wife. Um, what do you call it? Uh, wanted to be taken care of. You know, she didn't, you know, she, I don't know if she loved him, loved him, but he started cheating. And so she left him. And she all but wanted to get the divorce papers framed. Uh, she tells me that later on in life. <laughs> That's my mom. She's so silly. But she was completely different from him. He was definitely a different guy. But, um, but like I said, um, learning to draw. I learned how to draw white people because most of the magazines out uh, were white. Um, People Magazine, Inquirer, all that stuff was so white. Very, very, very little black people. The only time I got to see black people in a magazine was, um, was if they were uh, a TV star, and barely even then. And if my mom had gotten Ebony and, um, what do you call it, Ebony and jet magazines those are the only time i saw black folks in magazines when i was growing up so you draw what you see you draw what you're around and that's pretty much what i did so i got really good at drawing white folk and to the point where my mom was moderately disturbed she was like you must hate yourself which made me like kind of look askance at her because it's like what are you talking about what do you mean hate myself? I didn't know what she meant and I thought it was an insult uh, because I, I was drawing what, I, what I've seen. 
and it was kind of hurtful too because she didn't contribute to anything you know uh, she didn't contribute to anything African she had us in a predominantly white neighborhood you know glad to be there <laughs> nah uh, it actually there was a I don't want to say it was a good ethnic mix um, but uh, most of my neighbors were white um, maybe a couple Mexicans uh, uh, but my high school um, had a good mix great mix of people um, and yeah there was even uh, interracial romance uh, there was one couple that were like complete and polar opposites of each other and it was beautiful she was jet black and he was more than off-white I mean the boy the boy was alabaster he was so white but they were beautiful together and they were happy so you know I'm like cool um, I date a lot of white guys uh, my kids are mixed um, you know and they're absolutely fabulous people but I have not drawn enough black people in my life and with all the craziness that's going on with people being so they're they're bringing out their crazy racism hardcore that I am just like I'm to the point where if people don't draw my people then I, why should I draw them they got plenty of representation Ariana's got plenty of representation oh girls covered but I want to draw other people of color and that's where I am today um, I don't mind doing a few uh, k-pop stars because I think they're so cute and gorgeous and, uh, just a lot of fun but I don't see a lot of them drawing us so why should I keep drawing them you know that's that's where I'm kinda at right now it's uh, I'm like wait a minute they're not representing us some of them some of them are just taking our our culture and not giving back you know it's like huh makes you kinda think a little bit you know and I don't mind drawing um, Asian people at all because it's you know I, it, it's just they need more representation especially in oh my god especially in TV oh my gosh I fell in love with Glenn uh, from um, and I stopped watching it because he he died uh, for those of you who hadn't you know it, it was the best thing that happened I thought I thought to uh, what is it called um, Walking Dead I watched it for him I thought he was so cool and I started watching uh, what is it called um, the dramas the K dramas and stuff like that love love them they're freaking hilarious they made me cry freaking shows but then it's like you know that's why I don't mind uh, drawing uh, Koreans and Chinese because I grew up with uh, with, my, with my dad when I got to hang out with him um, he would watch kung fu movies and stuff like that so he was the biggest influence for that and my my parents were interesting people they loved some sci-fi but yet horror and sci-fi didn't love us you know uh, and but we we patronized it and so it's like huh so it's like I'm kind of at a I don't want to say I'm at a crossroads with my artwork but um, I'm not gonna draw as many white people as I used to not to be a racist but it's like I, I've drawn so many I've learned how to draw from drawing white people not by drawing black people but drawing white people and that's that my mom had looked at all my artwork and she was like wow you don't have any black people here and I didn't think anything of it because I only drew what I see I, I drew my friends they were white 
My best friends were white. But I didn't think anything of it. I didn't see, I don't want to say I didn't see color, but not like she did. Uh, when she grew up, and that, and that, I think that's what disturbed her the most, is when she, when she grew up, it was a totally different time, where uh, she remembers um, the whites only uh, water fountains. Um, she, she remembers uh, just the stuff that happened in the 60s that was just atrocious. That's all happening again, because people don't pay attention to history. Um, if it doesn't apply to them, what does it matter? Until it starts to apply to them, and it's like, oh, I'm oppressed. Now I see what you guys were talking about. Um, yeah. We tried to tell you. Uh, it, it's funny that if, it's, it's kind of like Hitler. Uh, you don't know the evil until it comes to your doorstep, or, or starts to threaten you, and it becomes part of your problem. Because you didn't listen to somebody else's problems, it becomes your problem. And, I don't know. I think uh, that I, I want to draw more ethnicities. I want to show more cultures. And it's like, the more I, I searched for like K-pop and people like that, um, the more I get to see... The differences in just things and I hate that it would be considered appropriation or things like that when I, I consider it more of an homage because you know I combine all kinds of crazy stuff together I find sexy in the in the craziness but um, and also Japanese cartoons oh my god I am so into anime and mangas. I am reading the shiznit out of some of these things. <laughs> but um, they're cracking down on that out here. These people should get paid for their work. Especially if I want to become um, a comic book uh, artist. Okay, I've played with this hair enough. There's time to move on. We'll come back up here and throw some more uh, detail. But we really need to move on. But um, but yeah, that's why I'm not drawing, I'm not in a rush to draw Ariana Grande. Uh, I, I hope you can understand what I mean. Um, it's time to give other people a platform, a look, of uh, um, some attention. And I, I hope you guys can understand that. Um, I, I, it seems like uh, that, oh, oh, another thing that got me, oh my gosh. And... What's crazy is this came from, it shouldn't be considered crazy. It's a, it was a, oh God, how do I say this? It was a study that this Asian guy had made. Um, and in his study, he was going over who's the most desirable. And it kind of hurt my feelings a bit. Uh, they made the white woman to be the most desirable. And I'm like, wow. Wow. And then who would be the least desirable? You can fill in the blanks. Uh, they said the, the black lady, black women were the least desirable to have um, as a mate. It, that people preferred uh, white people. And I'm like, wow. I mean, it was like, it was, it was a terrible study. I guess because I didn't like the answers. But he offered no solutions either. It's like, that's not my job. <laughs> that's not my part. I, don't, I, I did my part. I just told you all about y'all selves. And, um, and that uh, the, I guess, what is it called? How the, uh, the dating pool was... Uh, lessening for black women and stuff and in a sense I kind of saw that and but I'd never I had a really weird epiphany let's see I never watched any oh <gasps> tatted hearts what <gasps> what what you never watched any anime or read a manga 
what? Okay. All right. Have I drawn Lady Gaga? Yeah, I have actually. Uh, and yeah, I've drawn Beyonce. Yeah, she is too emo. I'm sorry. I'm catching up with the, the, the comments cause I was all stuck on myself, but yeah. Um, yeah, all in my feelings. Remember reminiscing about my mom who passed away. It's like, I can talk about her, but I see her in my dreams. So it's kind of scary. <laughs> no, I love it. Um, yeah, I think Billie Eilish is just a little too... Uh, I don't know. And, and she's... I guess I'm not in her demographic. Or she's not in mine. I don't know. Uh, maybe I need to see more of her. But like I said, I'm, I really want to focus on more people of color. I want to draw more uh, Indian. I want to draw anything that's not Caucasian. Any ethnicity that's not Caucasian. Um, and I prefer to draw black because I feel that we just don't get enough representation. We are the bit characters. We are the side characters. We are the side joke. Um, people don't take us seriously. The first to die in movies. Um, I mean, it's just like, I just, and then we're, uh, what is it called? I want to break what is it called the caricature mold of of black people because I am uh, the movies and stuff like that they don't seem to represent me not that I'm looking for representation in a movie or something like that but it's kind of nice to see uh, to see the black people kind of survive the into in and, and and like um, okay for example um, was watching what is that what was that show um uh, walking dead they acted like they couldn't have two black people at the same time they always killed one off before they introduced another why why you have to do that it's not necessary um they're they're very rarely the main character um I was, I thought it was refreshing when I was watching this one show called, uh, Luther with I I Idris Alba, and he was the alpha dog. It was his show, yo, and he was amazing. Um, he's a really good action star. I think I want to turn these into gears. I think I'll do that. I'll come back to that later. Okay, let's get the other ones. But yeah, it's rare. And they only had like a couple episodes. I'm like, man, that sucks. But he was amazing. Um, uh, if you can watch Luther, that one's pretty good. But yeah, um, I can't believe that you didn't see any anime. The thing, the thing I like the most about anime and manga is that... Uh, I love those damn stories. They tell a story that you would not be able to catch in the States. Uh, not for kids, because all the um, animation is, is all set up for kids here, not for adults. You know, and if uh, an adult catches it, it's like, oh, you know, it's, it's like, it's not the same. You know how uh, cartoons were here. Um, I don't know if you caught any Saturday morning cartoons. Um, I, I freaking grew up on that stuff. Where you had uh, the mo the grittiest cartoon that I can think of uh, was Gargoyles. Because the good guys didn't always win. Um, let's see. Um, but you, you always have good guys winning. You always have some sort of story that's being told uh, but it's always a positive message it's like cartoons were hijacked um, because they, they were thinking that oh kids are spending all their time watching these cartoons on their day off on a Saturday or when they're getting home from school you know the cartoons were only on until about maybe six if you're lucky I don't even think it was until six whatever dinner time would be that's when they would like be shut off Probably about five. You might catch the very, very last cartoon of the day. 
I don't even think it was 5, maybe 4.30. It got shorter and shorter. Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, but anime, they are not afraid to tackle, like, they're not afraid to kill kids. And <laughs> they're not afraid to tell the story the way the story is meant to be told. You know, th we have so many, um, and, and for good reason, we have so many barriers and uh, sensors and things like that, that it's like, Ew, we can't show that on TV. You know, and uh, I guess they couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I digress. But uh, anime is is liberating, and I think it. I want to say it's more for adults. They have more genres in anime than they do um, than we do here in the states. Like we have uh, most of, most of the cartoons are for kids. Basically, they're for kids. Um. Until you get to like Adult Swim or something like that. And then it's like... <laughs> then it's for adults. You know? And it, it's a... But anime is like... There's so many genres. Um, like you would never see a boys love uh, anime here in the States. Where guys are into guys. And it's kind of... I don't want to say it's innocent. Yeah, it is kind of innocent. You know, some some of them are innocent, some of them are overt, but it's like I can't imagine my life without anime anymore. It's it's wow. I don't know. It's it's like uh, not being able to to catch that expression. You know, it's just I love these stories. It just ugh. but anyway, what I'm doing is um, I've I've uh, created a. I gave another layer to this and then um, I'm adding some tones to this I also um, hit this here and got the alpha lock and once you put colors down you can stay within those colors without having to keep them blocked off and then when you're ready to go outside those colors you can um, you can change it but don't get me wrong I will be drawing uh, an occasional white person like white people do on their channels they draw an occasional black person I don't know if it's <laughs> but um I want to be able to just draw whatever the heck I feel like drawing and right now I'm just kind of in a mode where I, I want to just show some love to the black folks to my peoples uh, even though my people make a lot of noise outside and get on my nerves because they ain't got no place to go and they're selling drugs outside and it's making me mad. You know, uh, but I don't know if they're selling it just to our people. I don't know. They're selling to whoever wants them. There's no, there's no ethics. Not that there should be any ethics in drugs and dealing, but, you know, you only got one life to live. Uh, just do it. Do your thing. I'm not going to judge anybody for their needs, except when their needs impinge mine, which is sleep. I like to have my sleep. Don't come robbing my house looking for some dope. You ain't going to find it. Oh, Lord have mercy. I don't know. Just as long as they're not hurting nobody and yeah, please don't be hurting nobody. I don't know. I can't justify drug dealers, but... Uh, the cops just do not have a, a decent presence out here even though they know this crap is going on on the daily they need to be parked right outside but they don't because we got rights <laughs> let me stop let me stop I'm a hot mess just shut up and draw Kim shut up and draw no um, but yeah if you, if you ever get bored and you want to see something that is like, sometimes I'll watch an anime and go, what the hell did I just watch? That's how good some of the uh, episodes are. Um, one of the things that blew my mind was Attack on Titan. Because they gave no fucks. They killed indiscriminately. Men, women, kids. The shit was bold. It was amazing. 
Um, I gotta col color in some of these dark spots here. Um, that's not gonna work. Okay, so I'm gonna make another layer. And since this is, uh, let's see, put another layer underneath this. There we go. And I'm gonna block this off. Um, yeah, um, definitely, if you can, you gotta catch some of that stuff. Oh, homie. Um, some of the best stories I've ever come across uh, were animes. Some of the worst ones were animes too, but um, I'm watching one now. What's the name? A few of them actually. Um, I go to and, and, and kind of sometimes you have to be in the mood for it because there, a lot of the stuff is subtitled for my pleasure. Um, let's see. Let me make this a little bit redder. Uh, what was I watching? Ari Ferita or Ari Ferreta Shoguko. Oh, well, I just go to my damn. Let me switch screens here so you guys can see my screen. Okay. Wrong screen. <laughs> this screen. Alright. Like, this is one I've been watching. It's pretty good. Um, let's see. I'm caught up to the third episode. I was watching this. This is Yami She Bai 7. Um, it's horror. Uh, so you got horror. You've got action. Um, you got kid. You've got... Uh, boys, um, you got weird ass shit and tights, um, there's one that's like really super weird, but I've been watching, I don't watch One Piece, um, it's just something about the way they're drawn, it just does not do anything for me, um, this one right here, Kimetsu no Yaiba, um, that one's pretty good, um, it's just like you just gotta be interested in, in, you know, into the drama, this one I'm not really sure about. Um, this one's actually this one's kind of funny. Uh, Doctor Stone. Um, it, imagine like the apocalypse happening, and there's like everybody yet on the world in the world gets like turned to stone. Um, but I, I watch it on Kickass Anime, and then it has the listings of all the people, all the things that come on during these times. But um, let's see, I can't remember the other ones. Let's see. I have a hard time remembering the names. Uh, this one I'm not so sure about. Some of them are dumb, where it just like comes out with dumb shit. This one's kind of like a boy love one, given. Um, let's see. Fruits Basket is a redo. Um, let's see. But you, you come across, and a lot of the, the stuff repeats. A lot of it's like... Um, oh God, what is it called? Um, let me turn this off. A lot of it is uh, school uh, related, um, and it, it comes in like I don't know, it comes it comes in spurts. Um, it has a, they have their own seasons, I think, when stuff comes out, um, like. Uh, part of the season like spring would be like kid shows lots of lots of things are centered around school um sports comes out and then you got like crazy horror and stuff like that later on I don't know I haven't quite figured it out yet but uh my son and I were talking about that because he he was raised on anime he pff, whatever you still like watching keep me the game oh my god I'll pray for you <laughs> yes that's what I mean but, you know, I've never watched Yuri on Ice, but I've heard about it. And, damn it, it looks hot. I love ice skating. Ice skating is one of my favorite things to watch. And they combine that with some hot guys. Oy, 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 oy. I don't know. One day I will draw, like, some, just, like, singers. Popular, popular singers. But we'll have them doing something. We can have them in like Harajuku or something like that. We'll merge them with something. So it's not going to be just like a, a, a basic uh, portrait. We'll do something crazy, okay? So you can add that to your wall. Your wall of shame. Our wall of shame. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't know why I have to say it like that. In that voice. But yeah. Um, 
definitely don't like to uh, pigeonhole myself. It's just that I do want to show some love to some some black folks um, and people who aren't too commercial. You know, people maybe who are on the fringes, like Billie Eilish. She's she's coming along. She came up out of nowhere, I think. You know, like uh, I was watching this one thing. Um, they were talking about how she just seemed to appear out of nowhere. It's like, boom, here's Billie Eilish. And I personally didn't know who Billie Eilish was until um, um, I was watching uh, someone else's videos. Um, whose videos was I watching? And they would they did a they did uh, some speed drawings to it, and I'm like, oh, oh, I like this song. This is kind of cool. And her artwork was going really great with the music. Let's see, I need to put it behind this one. Okay, so uh, I pretty much work in layers here. But yeah, we'll come up with something so that we can um, do something crazy. Like I want to draw, um, like I've been grabbing pictures of uh, 80s singers, like, um, what is her name? Grace Jones, people who are hot then. And I want to do something crazy with them now. You know, their younger selves. So, like, if they were if they were born in this time, you know, what would they be like? And, um, let's see. Um, I'm kind of in that kind of mood. Yeah, well, there's too many greedy people, uh, to have world peace. And, and people like drama, you know, and they're always, there's some people that need to make themselves feel better in order to uh, get ahead. Uh, like right now, the big thing is, um, you know, and it's funny, ever since Obama left office, it's like people have been going out of their skulls to be extra evil to black people. I, I It's not new. I guarantee you it's not new, but it's like extraordinary that people are just so bold with it now. And then, uh, what's his name? Uh, 45 loves, 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 I don't even want to give him a name anymore. Not on my channel. Just, uh, uh, it's like he sends dog whistles. And it, it just, it, and, and the more people poo-poo it away, the more it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. I guarantee you. It's like he wants to bring back, uh, what is it called? He wants to bring back like the 60s, not the, yeah, the 50s and the 60s. Oh, that was such a wonderful time then. No, depending on who you were, yeah, it was a wonderful time. But, you know, for some people, they didn't have it so good. <laughs> they don't remember that, that decade so good. Uh, I don't know. But anyway. See, I want to give this a little bit more of a... A warmer... Oops. A warmer color. Let's see. We'll brush that. And we'll bring it down some. But I still want the brown to show. I don't know. It's just... With idiots in charge. Greedy people in charge. Greedy people and idiots running amok. Um, history will keep repeating itself. People will still keep doing bad things. And um, good people will suffer for it. Um... Like, they, I've, there's been, like, uh, articles where um, man found, hung, hanged, and his hands were tied behind his back and he was 20 feet in the air. How did he commit suicide doing that? Yet he didn't. You know, it's just like, people are, I don't know. And people are all up in other people's business. 
You know, there's one thing I, there's a couple things I've learned from our fearless leader, and one of which is I don't have to give my opinion on every single stupid thing that happens with the Joneses. I, I don't. I don't have to give my, you know, I don't have to be triggered over every little thing, especially if I didn't cause it. But there are things that, you know, do deserve some, you know, side eye looking <laughs> type of <laughs> response. I don't know. I just don't want the same things to happen like, uh, oh God, and it's already happening. Like uh, what they did with the Jews, but it's happening with the Mexicans. You know, it's just insane. That's why my brush isn't working. It's a different texture. Okay. Too much choices. Too many choices. Now it's moving. Yeah, um, got to be careful of your brushes. If you switch uh, textures on your brush, um, be prepared <laughs> to switch them back to whatever you want. Um, let's see. Bring this down a bit. I don't know if that made a difference. Oh, it looks messy now. I was trying to get a nice, subtle color tone going on here. It's not happening. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, soft color, soft color. Um, be isolated again. I don't know. But yeah, you're right. World peace is going to elude us for quite a while. But when you think about it, um, even to biblical times, there's some pieces, places in, in the world that have never known peace. Ever. They're always at war. And they will always be at war. Um, and, and religion is a big thing, too. Um, so many atrocities were committed um, under the banner of, of religion. Uh, just getting the United States itself. Um, manifest destiny. Um, that was a religious cry that um, that God made America for pretty much the white people. Uh, the, the Europeans that came over here. Uh, who cares who lives here before? They came to take over. They destroyed so much. And yet, there are some people trying to do good. They're, they're trying to rebuild and make the place a better place for themselves and their kids. And, I don't know, maintain a, a, a bit of a peace. But, it just kills me. Um, and then, uh, I don't know, it, it it's funny. Uh, religion used to be the biggest thing because, you know, they didn't have much else to keep themselves occupied besides screwing and killing each other. Um, I don't know. It's just some things will never change. Greed will never change. All the vices will never change. They'll just uh, evolve into uh, more interesting ways of dealing with each other. Why is... I thought I had sectioned that off. I guess I didn't. What did I section off? Because it's bringing in the blue. Shouldn't be bringing in blue. Shouldn't be bringing in anything. Eh, I guess. Anyway, it adds to the color. All right. Let's see. I don't want to make it too blurry looking. Come on, you. Undo my mistake! Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, but yeah, um, yeah. This is why uh, this is why this artist always alone because I talk too much shit. Um, but yeah, let's see. Yuri on Ice is awesome, and I want to watch it. Gosh darn it, I just gotta find it. Yeah, my anime. Yeah, yeah. Kim can't read anime, uh, anime titles. That's why it comes in spurts. That's what she said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Um, 
Jennifer Hudson riding a pig while playing an elephant-shaped lute and wearing a tall cone hat. No. Um, I've drawn Rihanna once, maybe. I can't remember. I'm trying to stay away from the high, hardcore mainstream people. You know, people that uh, have been drawn before by multiple people. I want, I want to introduce other people to the mix. So you're going to have to dig deeper. Dig deep. Like, one of the people I want to, want to do is Janet Jackson. She was a pretty big influence back in the 80s. Um, uh, and she was one of the Jacksons that wasn't, wasn't as obnoxious. Um, she got a bum deal with the Justin Timberlake thing at the Super Bowl. And uh, she's just barely recovering from that. But uh, she's still awesome. Great performer. She was amazing when she uh, made her debut. Um, with the Rhythm Nation and stuff like that. Uh, oh gosh, she was amazing. Just an amazing talent. Um, let's see. So this right here was going to be... Let's see. I want to do something music related on here too. Let's see. I think if I do any kind of musician, um, I'm probably going to um, incorporate them into being like a warrior or something like that. And it'll have some sort of music related something. Um, I just want to be able to do something that other people have not done. And it kind of needs to mean something. Um, not mean something, but, you know, I'm going to want to spend time with it. And if I don't have that, you know, I'm in love with this idea feeling, crap. I, I won't spend time with it. And that's one of the other things I've learned about um, drawing is that you've got to want to do what you're doing. Like, that's why I don't do pottery. I don't draw pottery. Because I don't... It doesn't do anything for me. Um, yeah, it might give me some... Uh, what's the word? I don't know, some fundamentals or something like that. Life drawing crap. But it's like, if it doesn't make me happy, if it doesn't make me go, ooh, if it doesn't make me horny, if it doesn't give me some kind of satisfaction, I'm not going to want to do it or stick with it. And, um, and that's, that's with what I learned with drawing. If you don't get that, uh, from it, if you don't get that satisfaction from it, you're not going to want to stick with it. Um... Um, another thing I wanted to draw, or been playing with the idea with, is um, drawing on my uh, jackets and stuff. But I don't, I don't know, I don't have a really hardcore I'm a fan. Uh, what is it called? I'm not a hardcore fan of certain people, so I don't want to wear them. <laughs> I, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, like, I want to draw something that people are familiar with, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to say. Uh, 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 it doesn't matter. Like, I want to wear something popular, but I'm not, like, into anybody right now. Like, you know, like some people are into uh, Tupac and stuff like that. Biggie Smalls. I'm not into them. Uh, I'm not a big fan. I mean, I've, there's a couple of their songs that I like. Like Gangster's Paradise. and You know, but... Uh, I don't know. Wearing... wearing uh, but I, I'm trying to think of somebody that I like so much that I'd, I'd wear them every day. I do like, uh, what is it called? 
My Hero Academia. That was fun. I like that show. Uh, so I would wear one of those characters. So I would like to draw something like that. Something that I, ha I admire. Uh, okay, these songs are repeating. Let me go ahead and take these guys off. I'm listening to... I'm not listening to anime. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Epidemic Sound. Um, I have a subscription so I could use their music um, in my videos. Let's see. How about something like... Oh, it was funny. Um, my son and I were talking, uh, we were at an optometrist and uh, we were talking about um, Shiningamis. Um, what was it called? Death Note. And we we're discussing Death Note and this, this uh, Asian kid, um, he's like, what do you know about Shiningamis? What? 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 And we're telling him about Death Note. I was like, oh yeah, Death Note, Death Note. <laughs> you never know who's listening. It's like, what are these black people talking about shit and gummies? What the hell y'all know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of those things about anime is that it, it transcends uh, cultures. The whole world can go anime. I think it would be a better place. Or a worse one because some of those animes are like woof. <laughs> yeah, where am I gonna find my tentacle porn if people take it away from me? Uh my my midget ninja tentacle porn. Where am I what am I gonna do? Oh uh, well. I just have to find I have to draw my own then. Let's see and this was going to be Yeah, and I think that's another thing that, that brought me into drawing is that um, I did not see the things that I wanted to see. My cartoons would cut off after a certain time. Oh, let me put all that on a different layer. That way I can... Well, actually, maybe I don't have to. Yeah, I think this is the layer we're working on. Okay, so I can go ahead and add my colors. Yeah, um... Like, I used to love to watch this show called Thundar the Barbarian. And, uh, had Princess Ariel and Ookla the Muck. The Muck. And it was, it was one of those cartoons that was supposed to be for kids. But, oh shit, it was pretty dark. And, um, I loved it. Gargoyles. Used to love that one, too. Um, because... Uh, the the good guys didn't always win, and in every cartoon, the good guys always win, always win. There's always a moral. In those two cartoons, no, not not so much. Um, they tried, <laughs> but the story came first, and I think that's one of the things that we're missing in in kids' cartoons is that you know let the story come first. Let the, let, let the kids get their morals somewhere else, like from home or in the streets. But, you know, let this one, let this one tell the story. Okay, now what I'm trying to do is uh, make some metal here. It could be that I'm just an old perv. I don't know. I was a young perv back in the day. I don't know. It was drawn differently. It was drawn with, like, people. You know, and a lot of cartoons were drawn with, like, cartoon characters, like the Smurfs. You know, it's like they were boring. I watched them because there was nothing else to watch. Um, until my cartoons kicked in. Uh, and it, usually the better cartoons, the best cartoons came on it, like, right before everything shut down. Or that prime time, which was, like, 10 o'clock, I think. 
And so you're eating your cereal, doing your thing, waiting until 10 o'clock. But I, I was up as soon as the first cartoons were up. Watching them, watching them. I don't know. But when they cut off, there was like, now what do I do with myself? I don't know. This is not quite looking like metal, but that's okay. Okay, and then um, I'll have to make some little gears and stuff. Ooh, I could, I could design gears and just do a thing. All right, let's see. It's coming. It's coming. No, nah, but um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna catch Yuri on ice. Um, there was Julie's here. Julie's here. Um, what was it called? We were talking about anime and manga and all that's wrong and right with the world. Well, more wrong than right. But what are we doing to contribute to it? Hmm? What are we doing? What are we doing here? Uh, that's too much for my little brain to comprehend. Yeah, well... We don't have to have complete world peace. What else would people talk about? Uh, let's see. I don't know, but it, I just found that I, I don't have to share my rabbit ass opinions. I don't have to be cruel and evil. I could keep that to myself. Do my evil cackle. Kiki kiki kiki. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, uh, let's see. I gotta work on it. Uh, let's see. I want to give a texture. So we'll pull a texture out of our... Oil pastel is really good for um, drawing textured hair. I'll show a video on that when I start drawing more black folk. Um, but I want to give a, a gentle texture to this lapel here. Um, and do it in white. And we'll bring it down a bit, make it a little bigger, and we'll give it the highlight. And we'll give it another layer. Let's see. There we go. Come on, you. Be bright. Be merry. Be bright. I think I'll uh, draw some of my favorite uh, black YouTubers. I haven't done that. There's one I was working on, but it, I don't think it looks enough like her. Um, and then there's one that is, um, I think she was a transsexual. And um, I thought she was adorable. She does her makeup really well. I just can't remember her name. I haven't seen many videos from her. Not lately. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. I need a little bit of that red. And then we'll make it a little bit softer. We'll put that in there just to give it a little bit of texture. A little bit of color. little bit more color. There we go. It's very subtle. Okay. And we'll just kind of rub it in. And smear it a bit. Okay. I'll play with this later. This is going to be like brown and let me see and this is what I need to do almost there uh, let's see I want to at least complete this month doing more Q 
cute cat guys. Oh, this is not that same texture. Uh, bigger, go bigger. Phil, damn you, Phil. There we go. But you're on the wrong layer. Don't feel. Oh. Okay. We need to be on a lower layer. There we go. Yes, yes, I'm greeting again. Um. <laughs> You know what I'm also thinking of, uh, Tatted Hearts? Maybe drawing um, anime characters as like real uh, Asian folk. Like I, I, it gives me a chance to uh, uh, look up. Uh, why is this not filling? There we go. Um, so like one of the uh, animes that I'm watching. Oh, one of the animes that I'm watching uh, now is uh, Black Clover, and some of them are so cute. Oh my gosh, um, I'd love to see them like live action casting. That's cool. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a darker brown uh, right here. I'll just go that way. I don't want to put that right there. Why is my brush being a jerk? It's the right layer. I'm going to put it on this layer. Oh, maybe because it's coloring the whole thing. Let me do this. Come on, stay centered. It's not dark enough. There we go. And we'll merge it down. There we go. Make this a little bigger. We'll add some more design to this. We'll steal some of the yellow off of that. And we'll throw some white on there, but with texture. So it kind of looks like leather, leather-ish, but a darker leather. Maybe a little bit more reddish. Okay, and then we'll just blend and blend and mess it all up and blend again and mess it all up and blend again. And somehow, some way, we'll have a person in here. Ooh, shoot, it's almost time to go. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is where we are so far. We're going to put like steampunkish type of things going on and around the horns. Ooh, we should throw some goggles. Needs goggles. Can't be steampunk without goggles. All right, and I'll do a little bit more work on his face. Uh, one quick tip: the uh, brush that I was using. Do do do. All these brushes come with the uh, Procreate oil pastel is really good for, like I said, doing textured hair, but also it's good to do pores in skin. You just use it uh, sparingly and you can get some really good pores in here. But um, this is where we are thus far. Not quite done yet because we still got to throw, we got to throw up steampunk all over the place. We should put a gear somewhere in here. You know, that's what we should do. God damn, right layer, Kim. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make that my motto. Stay on the right layer, Kim. Oh, damn. And I can hear Ian going, uh, yeah, you wouldn't have to worry about being on the right layer if you were drawing on a shirt or drawing on paper. 
Um, yeah. Uh, Tatted Hearts. We should do steampunk with anybody. Like Billie Eilish. Not the crazy stuff like riding on pigs and stuff. Uh, but maybe take something, uh, elements from one of her songs. Um, like that bad guy song. And then turn her into like, you know, bits of her song. But use the steampunk in there. I think that'd be freaking awesome. I would love to draw more corsets and stuff. Billie Eilish in a corset. <clears throat> Anyway, but holding a gun, one of those crazy steampunk guns. I know, right? I know, right? Oh, you guys are my favorites. Okay, so um, you guys feel free to chime in. Um, next month will be steampunk month. We'll do any ethnicity, any person, uh, even if I've done them before. We could even do um, some fun. We could have some fun with um, what's her face? Uh, uh, Ariana Grande. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. Okay, so let's see. My alarm is about to go off, and it's so damn annoying. Yeah, I got one minute with it. All right, you guys. I will see you on the morrow. And, um, and feel free, uh, Tatted Hearts, to send me another um, uh, file. Like, uh, like you sent me before with a really clear picture. Pick one of your chicks out. I'm going to do one. Either it'd be, I might do Billie Eilish because she's uh, popular, I guess. <laughs> but um, I do like that song, so I can't say anything. Um, but yeah, pick one of your favorites out and I will draw that. Julie, you're more than welcome to as well. Um, if you know how to share a uh, Google slide, just go ahead and email me that. Like, uh, share the slide with me and um, I'll draw whatever you guys want. And, you know, we could do, like, a dark steampunk with uh, bones and stuff. I miss being <laughs> naughty. <laughs> I miss our darkly cute folks. All right, you guys. I will see you on the morrow. And um, let's keep those ideas flowing. That would be so freaking awesome. Huh. Anyway, we will go... Until Ian and I said hi, you guys, thank you so much for um, popping in and um, to one of my uh, latest viewers, thank you so much um, for um, uh, contributing uh, to the channel, uh, Norwal Music. Uh, thank you so much for um, leaving a comment. It, it just means something to me to know that um, someone's actually sat through this thing <laughs> and at least got something out of it. Uh, and again, uh, like and subscribe if you guys want to contribute uh, to the, uh, the art. Uh, and if you uh, like what you see, what I come up with, I can always send you an image or whatnot, okay? You guys have a great one and thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. Mm,